Hi, good, af good afternoon, everyone. And uh, I would like to just spend one or two minutes to give you the overview that what uh, the OECD program have been implemented in Thailand, because we have a really uh, freedom a bit to, to do things differently, not to listen to OECD so much. But, uh, <laughs> and uh, since we are from Thailand, we bring some snacks for you. Uh, very delicious delicates from Thailand. And we will be giving around to anyone who eagerly participate in our second part of the, uh, this exciting um, session in this afternoon after the, the lunch, you know, before you get some sleepy. And this is just going to be one slide for me, these two minutes. It's about that uh, in Thailand, we implement this program for about 100 schools, 110 schools across the country. And they are the public school. And they, uh, we really you know, lucky that the Ministry of Education agreed to do the RCT for Thailand, randomized control trial. So 60 of them are in the intervention group where, where the, the teacher and then the school get the training from the OECD experts and get the material from the OECD. And, uh, and we also have the control group only uh, get the pre and post test. And the, uh, what we have done there is that uh, we really develop the team of experts, and uh, we call them super coach, because we think that for the sake of sustainability of this program in Thailand, we need to have an uh, education supervisor become you know, informed and know how to use these tools in the, in the future of this program, which I will mention later on in, in the end of the session. And we have done this. Uh, uh, intervention for two times, two rounds, and one semester per round is so unfortunately because we wish we could do the full academic year, but the term and semester start in Thailand so much different than the Western Hemisphere. And uh, we developed this uh, professional learning community because we want them after, after the semester ends, they can share experience and uh, uh, give us some feedback to move on. So this is just the overall structure of the implementation, implementation in Thailand. For in terms of impacts to this um, program that is evaluated by the OECDs, the program have, as I mentioned, that positively, highly positively influenced teacher and student perception on this creativity and critical thinking. It also show from the results that teachers have made many positive uh, change in terms of a uh, class preparation. Some of them has using the same, you know, PowerPoints and, and material for the past few years, but now they kind of change every single class because they think that they want to do things differently. And that's re uh, revealed, that's kind of information is revealed in the questionnaire of the OECD and also revealed to us uh, directly uh, in our uh, visits. And since the OECD program finished, I think one or two years ago already since our last uh, session, they are still doing that. We still pay the visit to the school, and that's what we really want to see more of this sustainability in the, in the future. And student reports also report uh, trust uh, uh, on the teacher. They, he, this student uh, now can feel that teacher know more about them knows more about their story and knows how they learn best in different way. And this strong, uh, stronger connection between student and teacher is one of the impact that we would like to learn more about making it uh, 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 more sustainable in the future. And in, in terms of this uh, uh, analysis, the OECD and the University of Paris have this uh, non-cognitive measure of creativity. The area that Thai students show a really strong results is the divergent thinking of creativity, which is some, some, something that we quite not surprised. We also, we, we kind of expect that in terms of convergent 
in this creativity, it will be quite difficult for Thai students uh, based on a number of our culture, which I can speak for the whole day about this. But this is something of the evidence that we would like to learn more and find a way to, to fix it. But the critical thinking itself, we haven't seen much of the results that's statistic statistically significant. And this is something of the learning curve for us too. And uh, the, 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 the results in Thailand also show that even in the most deprived school, in the more, uh, one of the poorest students and the families, they also show significant positive results. And so uh, in the old days, we, have, we thought about trade-off between quant quality and e equity in terms of policy, education policy making. But now we can see that there's a way that we can combine the agenda of quality and equity in this uh, education program in the future. And, uh, the reason is that we are Equitable Education Fund, and we, this picture is in our heart and minds every day we wake up to work. Still then, and it can be teacher picture too in this one, because they come, they're born with the different intelligence, uh, different level of uh, socioeconomic background. We are not the one who want to give them exactly the same amount of teaching, same material, same budgets, but we need to know how different they are and be able to provide them the exact amount of budgets, the way, the different way qualitatively of teaching, materials, and attention. Otherwise, we cannot reach the equitable outcome. As you can see, our equity, we are not measuring in terms of inputs we measure at the outcome, and that's what we're trying to do at the Equitable Education Fund with the Ministry of Education.